Hello everyone. So this is part three of our series of discussions about group theory, where in part one and part two we discussed the definition of group theory and how important it is for the uh, for its applications now in modern physics, in condensed matter physics, and so on. Particularly, it has direct applications to special relativity by Sir Albert Einstein, and it also has applications in density functional type binding or, or in describing the motion of the electrons. So today we will be discussing the generators of continuous groups. And these are known as Lie groups because basically this has been introduced by a Norwegian scientist in the name of Lie. Now the elements are functions of parameters having derivatives of arbitrary orders. Suppose we consider this special orthogonal rotations in two dimensions. As we know, if we have the sp spatial coordinates, see we have here the x, y, z axis. Suppose this is the x axis, this is the y axis, and this is the, x, uh, the z axis. And we just want to rotate the x and y. No? So suppose we rotate this one counterclockwise in such a way that z is unaffected. So basically the rotation matrix which is an operator, is given by cosine of psi, sine of psi. So this could be seen right here. Now we have, this is, uh, suppose this is psi and this is psi. Okay, so the rotation matrix is given by cosine of psi, sine of psi, negative sine of psi, cosine of psi. And this could actually be expanded or be expressed in terms of the Euler identity. This is actually equal to, to, this, uh, to this one. Okay, we have... Uh, cosine of psi plus i sigma sub k we have sine of psi where here we have k depends on the dimensionality of of the of the coordinate now we have suppose if we are talking about two dimensional co coordinate system so k is equal to 2 and if we are dealing with the special orthogonal rotations in three dimensions so basically k is equal to 3 so therefore here, if we consider two rotation matrices, such as r as a function of psi 1 and r as a function of psi 2, and multiply these two, we actually just have to add the exponents. No? As we know, r as a function of psi 2 is just equal to the e, e to the i sig times sigma sub 2 psi 2, and r as a function of psi 1 is equal to e to the i, times psi, psi sub 2, psi 1, or uh, sigma sub 2, psi 1. Here we have k is equal to 2, no? because basically we are dealing with two dimensions. And as we know, or as we can observe, i, sub, I times sigma sub 2 is common, so we just have to factor this out of the equation, and basically just add the two angles, psi 1 and psi 2. And this means that we can actually express this one. Okay, we have r as a function of psi 2, uh, as a function of psi 1, we have r as a function of psi 1, could actually be expressed in terms of this. And eventually, straightforwardly, we can see that uh, this could be expressed in terms of a certain generator, where s is what we call as a generator. This is actually an operator, you know, which uh, basically is a generator. Now here, the rotations close to 1, obviously have small angles, phi is approximately equal to 1. Now, the operator S of the infinitesimal transformations I as an element of S are called generators of G. Now, we have to consider this remark that the commutator of two generators is again a generator. That is, we have, suppose we have this two generators Sj and Sk, and if we're going to get the commutation of this or the commutator of these two, it's actually equal to this term in the right-hand side, which is a generator, where Cs are defined as the structure constants of the group. And we can prove this one now by considering, so by considering this rotation matrices, r as a function of theta is equal to e to the i epsilon sj, and r as a function of phi is equal to e, uh, e to the i epsilon sk, representing the group elements g theta and g phi with infinitesimal exponential parameters. And we will be proving this one in our next video. If you have some questions or clarifications, you can just comment your clarifications in the comment section. Thank you so much.